Guess what we have for breakfast? More dates, that's right. And you know what, like I generally eat similar kind of meals all week because they work for me and I enjoy them. So, you know, why, why change it when it works for you? And these dates are really gonna like, like I said yesterday, put quite a few in there to get enough calories. So I'm gonna pick these dates and come back to you in a second. Okay, so I'm nearly done pitting all these dates and you know, it's going to be the same breakfast that I have just about every morning, but like I said, you know, it works for me, it tastes good, let's do it. So, I also have people saying to me, oh, you know, you're so lucky, Freely, that you can just do whatever you want during the day. You know, I wish I could do that. You can do that. Okay, I'm just letting you know that you absolutely can do that. We have created the life that we're living by, you know, doing certain actions, by taking certain steps and it's been completely our own doing. It hasn't been luck. You know, we used to live below the poverty line in Australia. And, you know, we still afforded the best food and we, afford, we afforded things that were important to our health. But, you know, it just shows that we've come a long way. You know, we used to live like that and we just kept following our dream, you know, and promoting this lifestyle, promoting what we were passionate about. And guess what? Now we're, you know, we're, we're receiving the abundance. You know, we're living a lifestyle that we like to. We're making sufficient money to live the life that we want to live, which is a very simple life anyway. Um, but it's within every one of your reach. It really, really is. It just takes, you know, commitment. It takes you finding your passion. I mean, like just promoting this lifestyle, you know, helping animals, the planet and people. That's what I think everyone should be doing. Imagine if everybody did that, how amazing this planet would really be. It would transform. It would be just an incredible, fruitful place to live. So I encourage you all to get on YouTube, you know, follow your bliss. And your bliss really should be helping others. You know, that's when you're going to really create abundance, attract like amazing things into your life. I know, I talk from experience. You know, I've come from what I feel was the depths of hell to really living a heavenly life a lot of the time. Okay, it's not perfect all the time. You know, God, let's be real. We all have challenges in life, but challenges are a sign of life. You've got to embrace them. You've got to step up and realize that they're sent to build your character and make you better and to test you. Okay, so, yeah, that's like, something that you can do too. So please do it. Start a YouTube channel for a start. Okay, I'm gonna blend these babies up. Okay, so we're gonna put some squirts of peppermint drops in. Just a couple, not too much. And some of you might've been wondering what this little contraption is. It's actually a mouse trap, cruelty-free mouse trap. The mouse sees the food, goes in the end there, and then the weight of the mouse causes the lid to close and then it's just kept inside until we take it out and you know it's why have these nasty back-breaking um, traps you know I grew up with those and they're just horrible you know these are little creatures that deserve our respect and they want to live as well and you know pain is real to them just as real to them as it is for us so what we do is we capture the mouse and then we take it up into the bush and let him go oh wow look at that we have milk, folks. We have deep milk. Yes, indeedy. Let's pour it in. Yum, yum. Just let me have a taste. Mm. Mm. Super good with the peppermint in there. Me and Figsy love exploring. This is what we do best. We have our little time in nature every day. It's so important. You've got to connect with the source. Well, that doesn't apply to you, Figsy, because you're Dora the Explorer. You're not a dog. <laughs> Look at that beautiful... Oh, waterfall, isn't that amazing? 
What do you think, Pixie? <laughs> Her name's Pixie. Pixie, yeah. Some people call it Pigsy. <laughs> or Pixie. Pixie, Pigsy, Pigsy. She's five. Oh, she's just scared because she doesn't know you guys. She's always a little bit timid around new people. She's scared of just about anything. Hello, sweetie. So here we are at this beautiful waterfall. I reckon we should do five deep breaths, okay? You know, like it's so easy to forget about breathing deep into the diaphragm during the day. So how about we do it? So diaphragm, in through the nose, out through the mouth. So breathe in. And breathe out. So hold it in a little bit when you breathe it in. So breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, one more. better so you feel better already and like try and do 10 okay 10 is better than 5 okay so I'm just I'm just hanging out on my channel and I thought I'd go to my latest video and check out the comments what's going on latest videos Bikram farts and fattening white rice so let's have a look here Okay, so I probably won't have time, you know, this will be a really super long vlog if I answer every question. So we'll just, co we'll concentrate on the first one here from Aaron Janus. I absolutely love you guys, it really has changed my life. I am vegan for life. Yeah, sister, me too. But how come you guys never comment on chemtrails that are sprayed over us almost daily, globally, our food and air is being poisoned? Well, to be honest, Aaron, I don't really know a lot about chemtrails. It's not something that I've researched. So I'm kind of on the fence um, about whether they're true or not. I need to research more, definitely. So here are a few of the answers. I can't believe there are people who actually believe in chemtrails. Lol. And then lol, I can't believe there are people that if they actually have done the research that they don't understand the geoengineering program and UN Agenda 21, amazing. So there's obviously more research for me to do. It's an interesting topic, definitely. So is it a cute fluffy cloud or is it a chemtrail? Leave your opinion on chemtrails down below in the comments. Be prepared, folks. I have lots of bananas ripening up. So these are in the back of the car. And they're gonna, they're, those ones up there, we're munching on them, they're good. These are still got a little bit longer. You want those starches to be fully developed into sugar because it's easy to digest and it's good for your cells. Okay, so we're off to the supermarket and gun show. The gun show. And we have, I've been munching on these dried prunes, um, dried plums, whatever they're called. They're really, really tasty organic ones. And I've got some leopardy bananas. Oh, I've got six here actually. That's what I'm gonna be munching. Okay, so let's get police going. Op police officer pulled us up the other day and said, do you have any firearms in your vehicle? I said, just seize guns, sir. Oh, don't you love that? So what have you been up to? Just getting through some old clips. I've had on my computer for a long time. It's almost giving me a boner getting, done, getting them done. What? You're getting a boner off your well, old footage? Not literally, but just, it feels good that I've got all these videos. I've got like 600 video clips that I haven't put up yet on YouTube. It's going through them. Yeah. Box, so it, yeah. That's hard worthy. Metaphorically giving me a boner because it gives me some sense of satisfaction. Yeah. And again, done. Just as my book is almost finished. And that's really cool. Are you getting a book boner too? I'm, almost, I'm getting a bookworm, bookworm boner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now there's a little bookworm growing. Oh dear. 
It's not payday today, kids. Professionals recommend. Professional gardens recommend PG. But it's professionals here. The, the clown and the stripper. There's one one professional here. And she's eating the banana. So a sweet chili sauce that I would um, generally get if I'm not gonna make it myself is this organic sweet chili sauce macro. It's gluten free. And the amount of sodium is the big thing when it comes to sweet chili sauce. And this is pretty good. It's got 276 milligrams per hundred, um, which is pretty low for sweet chili sauce because you go next door to this one, this Coles brand, a Woolworths brand one. It has 1,364 milligrams for the same amount. It's just ridiculous. You do not need that much salt in sweet chili sauce. So definitely go for the low sodium variety because it's not going to leave your puppy and feeling like crap the next day. So I went through a stage where I ate quite a bit of like tofu, you know, Malaysian peanut satay ones, honey, oh, not honey soy because that's got honey in it, Japanese, and also these Moroccan burgers. And they're yummy, but they're kind of a bit stodgy and they will leave you a bit puffy the next day. So there's really better options. It's better to go for clean carbs, you know, to have rice or potatoes or fruit. It's always better. These are a sometimes food, that's for sure. And in America, you guys are lucky. By the way, I got my Whole Foods bag. You guys are lucky because this is the only range we have in our supermarkets. This is how big it is. I remember going to Whole Foods and there was like whole aisles full of just amazing vegan food. But all of this, you know, you just go next door and we got the solidified bovine secretion, rancid solidified bovine secretion. It's just gonna add fat to your ass and your gut. No thanks, you don't want that. It's cruelty food as well. Okay, so here I am at dinner and I've got a whole colander of potatoes. This is a lot. I'm gonna just get all those, clean those up a bit before I steam them and then I'll probably bake them. Or I might just have them steamed, but probably steamed and baked. And while I'm doing that, while I'm preparing dinner, I'm generally watching, you know, another channel on YouTube. And this one's How to Handle Initial Weight Gain on A1010. This is uh, a Sasha from Rice and Raw. She's very sweet. She has a great channel, so you should check her out. What I've done here is I've mixed some sweet paprika, organic sweet paprika, um, with chilies, just like some mild chili with the seeds as well, and some, what do you call a leek? A little leek, organic leek. Look at that, it's a leek on steroids, oh my god. All right, so now we're gonna put it in the steamer. Now these babies are going into the oven. Just got them on some um, greaseproof paper. Put them in. Right. And here's another one. And we also have some of these left over. There's a little bit of water in that tray at the bottom. And that's what the temperature gauge is at. This is a very simple oven. I wish it was bigger because I can make huge batches. All right, let's leave it in there. Oh, you're fast. You're so fast. You little racehorse. <laughs> little Bambi, come on. Here's part of dinner. This is one batch. Um, and I'm giving the thumbs up to the paprika, leek, and chili. It was yum. It was really nice. And I've got a little bit of sweet chili on the side there. This is going to be yummy dinner. Okay, folks, so that's the video for today. I'm going to finish editing today's vlog and then upload it. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed my day, spending the day with me. And I will see you tomorrow for another vlog. Don't forget to go fruit or root yourself. Girl. See you later. Go fruit yourself.